Namaste. I'm going to do a client reading for one of my regular clients, beginning with meditation um, and the spread to see the divine masculine's perspective at this time um, and opening to goddess, which I'm sure has a lot to do with the moon. We actually entered the energy of the Scorpio new moon today um, officially. She, she could be guiding the, the cards could be guiding her. Um, specifically right now to begin meditation, maybe on, you know, new things, the new things that she wants in her life, new goals, um, and letting go of the old ones in order to allow those new ones to come true. Golden memories. Um, first of all, it's about fire signs to me. Um, and she is a fire sign, I think a Sagittarius and the masculine is an Aries. So this is appropriate, but it's about leaving, um, you know, like the baggage and stuff behind and only moving forward with, you know, the golden memories toward making new memories. Golden memories and answer prayer, which of course can come from as a result of the meditation. Meditation is prayer. Golden memories and more fire sign, more rising from the ashes. This is turning all negatives into love instead. And then that, you know, enables you to use it. It's like um, turning something into like a useful, you know, turning a, a material, maybe um, a recyclable into a useful like fossil fuel. That's what this is. Transmutation. And retreat, which brings air sign energy in, as well as um, Aquarius for me, can have to do with the you know sun, moon, arising, or additional parties that may be connected to the union. Also guides them to spend some time with nature, doing their meditation if they can. You know if they can kill to those two birds with one stone, as they say, that's a really awesome thing. Transmutation. I'll go one more. Okay. This is definitely the last one. We've come full circle back to the goddess of the moon and this energy of surrender. Goddess. I'm going to cut. And more moon. Divine guidance. This guidance is infinite. Okay. This is what but this is letting us know. Um, with all this blue and green and purple, actually it reminds me of the colors that I have surrounding me. Purple is very regal, very royal, very divine. Uh, green is very much of healing and the, um, the um, ray of the ascended masters and the, the, the healing, my Archangel Raphael, all of that. And of water signs. Um, so this can be coming through stronger for me than usual because of the Scorpio moon, perhaps. And opening to family. So, and like I was just saying, I, I felt an obstacle of somebody's child, specifically a son. Um, and now I have family, opposite obstacles. So it could very much be that. Um, and, and other family members, maybe not just a son or not a son specifically. There's Raphael. Family. Maybe there's some family issue that has to be healed. Here goes children. Yeah. Okay. Children opposite family. On the heels of obstacles. Opposite family. Family again. And destiny. Which takes it into another direction. Um, and perhaps provokes thought of the family they may one day have together. Maybe, you know, inclusive of his son, her son. A dog, a cat, who knows? <laughs> um, you know, but they they have family um, in their destiny from how one it appears. And opening to long distance. 
This can be talking about the future, what their destiny is in the future. Also that their destiny is to go the distance. Long distance. I'm going to cut. Oh, goodness. And it's Ice Queen upright. So this can be Venus or this can be that air sign and perhaps specifically Aquarius that I kept seeing and feeling before. Overall energy is work. This will represent a divine couple. I think two wanted to come out there. The recent past, the near future. <laughs> they really want to be together, these two cards. I'm not sure what this is going to, this is going to mean for the spread when I turn them over. Um, the masculine's higher self. Blocks to the union. What the feminine can do here, what the masculine can do. Further advice from the universe and the outcome. Divine couple. Wallflower. Aw. <laughs> this is very, like, not engaged. Um, and feeling stuck. It's coming through as feeling stuck. It also tends to represent, you know, like specific signs for me. Um, Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn. Capricorn and the planet that rules it, Saturn, can be about the energy of being stuck. So that may be why that's coming through here. Stuck, trapped, or feeling that way at least. The recent past, gossip. Somebody could have been in somebody's ear um, negatively, giving them poor guidance. Talking about you too, that could happen. Talking to you about other people, that that, that wasn't conducive to anything positive. Talking about... something in connection to this being stuck hopefully it'll come out um the near future family very nice this can mean a bunch of things especially with the holidays coming up um in the united states as well as the energy of sagittarius coming up the we enter sagittarius sun next week with the feminine being a Sagittarius, they can, this can be birthday celebrations for her. This can be Thanksgiving. This can be Christmas coming up with all this the new near future. Um, at least it'll be engaged though. It's breaking out of this energy of wanting solitude and not engaging with you know socially. It, it breaks out of that energy. The masculine's higher self. Communication. Very nice. Um, remaining communication. This is very Aquarius too. So that could be why, why the, all those stars showed up as well. Blocks to the union. Destiny. Well, destiny ultimately isn't a block. But sometimes some of the things through which we have to go first... Um, we can feel blocked and stifled because we just cannot fight them. They have to occur. Even the karmic lessons are part of our destiny. Um, so ultimately what will be will be, but we got to get there first. And I think it's funny how destiny ended up crossing family yet again. It was opposite family before. Now it's here crossing. What can uh, the feminine do? 
there's some stuff on him in her past to work on. In this case, distance is meaning time more than way more than space. It's not meaning space at all from what I feel. This is having to do with time and it's probably connected to that golden memories card, which has already shown up for her twice. The masculine karma. So like I was saying, there's karmic lessons through which we have to go. Um, ultimately what will be, will be, but we have to get there first. So that's through what the masculine is going. And maybe that's what some of the feeling of alone and or stuck is about. And further advice from the universe, fun time. So to cease with this, um, the solitude and like, I'm not going to, if I go to the party, I'm not going to dance. <laughs> that's what this is. Um, instead, let's try to engage socially a little more. And again, the holidays can, hap can help with that. Birthdays can help with that, etc. And the outcome here. Ice King from the universe. Um, well, this definitely represents for me the planet Mars. I'm, heard, I'm sure you've heard me say many times. And the sign of Aries, uh, as well as air signs and, of course, Leo. But this guy is very Martian to me, very Aries. So this is the outcome. Um, basically, destiny. All will, all will be as it's meant to be. But you guys are going through some stuff, says the universe, through this spread. <laughs> And you know, all that stuff, that's the work. That's the work that you're having to put in. Going to my angel tarot quickly, um, beginning with the moon, which represents the sign of Pisces. Of course, again, we have entered the energy of the Scorpio new moon as of today, officially. Um, Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So this can be attached to that card of uh, wallflower, right? There's fear of engaging. And opening to the king of fire, which can represent either one of your energies or both. Um, doesn't matter that it's the king, it can be you too, as a female or the feminine. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic is the king of fire. Focus, 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 and communicate with vision. And be a leader. Take advice from someone creative if you can. This can also be representative, again, of the Scorpio moon specifically. Although this is not the king of water, Mars is also a ruler of Scorpio. And for tarot um, and divine unions, the king of fire, of course, the quintessential divine masculine of the tarot. Moon back. And opening to the eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Eight of water, and it's the queen of fire. So we definitely have a couple already showing up. The two of you, confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful is the queen of fire. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So like you, the queen of fire is a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries like your masculine. I'm gonna cut. <laughs> and the moon is back. And the overall energy is the nine of fire. I saw this a couple of times as I was shuffling for you guys. This is all about persevering. Keep working at it like your other, um, the overall energy from your other spread suggested. Work. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself.
masculine renewal or judgment, which represents the sign of Scorpio um, for me in the planet Pluto. So there could be something going on being stirred up right now because of the energy of the moon for you guys. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move in a new direction. This, of course, a two for partnership, for faith. Um, and also it's an 11. Twos are 11s. Surrounded by the six of air, things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation. You may even be taking a trip. This could be, um, it's a card of movement. It can be actual movement and actual travel, traveling to see one another. Um, can be metaphorical as well, just like moving forward in a positive direction. It's, ne it's never a negative card, the six of air, it's, it's good. And in the masculine subconscious, another card of like work and earning, you know, what you receive. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. Three of earth can also, as a three, for me, represent what I call parties of three, which may or may not be romantic. They don't have to be, um, but they can be. Love triangles. And it's mirroring yet another three. It's the three of water on your side. A celebration, a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement. The need to have more fun. So we saw this evident in the other spread, right? The need to be more social and have more fun. Uh, so please engage in that. But of course, as a three, um, as I said about this one, it can be uh, connected to a party of three. Feminine surrounded by the aid of water, desire to move on. It's the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So like even wanting to continue ascending and remain and remaining on and to remain on path in the feminine subconscious. However, it's the four of water, missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. I think this has to do with engaging again, with being more social, um, getting out there some more. Living, as they say, crowning the queen of air, independent, experienced, realistic, and witty is the queen of air. She is also <laughs> probably an Aquarius since that, since this air energy keeps popping up here. Um, but she can be, and, and Aquarius is actually for me when I'm talking tarot, the queen, because it's the fixed sign of the element of air. Um, but she can also be a Gemini or a Libra, of course, or anyone taking on those traits or attributes and perhaps wanting to cut out the bullshit in their life. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor, humor in a situation. The queen of air is independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. At the foundation, the root, it's another 11 with strength, which represents the sign of Leo or perhaps other fire signs like yourselves, Sagittarius, Aries, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, instead exercise some forgiveness and compassion. And at the heart of the matter, it's the chariot. So there's a lot of cards of movement here. Uh, we have the six of air, we have the eight of water, and we have the chariot. They're all in a straight row too. These three cards of movement or moving, they can be about moving as well. This one has the moon in it right here at the heart of the matter. And this chariot is a major card of victory. Um, Cause you're in the driver's seat when you see this card. It can also be about modes of transportation, uh, like maybe a vehicle with something coming in your life, planes, trains, automobiles. Um, And your travel, like again, some of you could be going to visit one another. And the, these cards that are sitting next to each other each have a horse on them, and the horses are facing one another, like they're moving toward each other to come together. And then one sits under renewal, which is about you know partnerships coming together, and one crosses it. This all this can also be about removing someone um, from maybe specifically the masculine's life, cutting someone out, having reached this moment of judgment and with this sitting next to the queen of air, maybe that person is an air sign. Let's, um, this is upright. Let's use it to clarify. Let's see the masculine's three of earth. 
Ah, uh, it's the dreamer with Archangel Metatron, which represents for me, um, yeah, an air sign, Gemini or Virgo, which is also ruled by Mercury. And this will sit here atop the three of Earth, which may be connected to a Virgo um, or at least that energy of Earth and, and, and work and money and abundance. Threes represent abundance. This is a leap of faith. Can have something to do with the masculine's work. Moving on, moving up maybe at work. And then being like fearless about that. Just go ahead and jumping at it. Renewal or judgment as it relates to work can have to do with your boss having like a watchful eye on you. And like now is not the time to slack off or screw up. Like, you know, continue, remain strong and as, you know, diligent about your work as you've always been. So that you get that promotion, that ascension. You move on like the chariot. You're victorious. I, th I think it may have something to do with work. <laughs> um, especially since work was your overall energy a moment ago in the other spread. I'm going to go to the romance cards. Beginning with deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And opening to soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Deception and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. That could be what this is about. You know, another reason, like I said, cutting someone out of the masculine's life, release your ex, leaving your old, you know, baggage behind, release your ex and love yourself first. That could be why you both have threes too. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This card is certainly about putting yourself first, living and or loving um, for you rather than other people. This release your ex and live in love for yourself can be why I started out in the beginning with the obstacles and the energy of someone's son and then family could be like your child or the parent. <laughs> yep. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, but not just your parents, any and everybody who is so impactful upon your life that you feel stuck, like you can't move on um, unless you resolve a situation or, you know, the, the relationship with them, either by repairing it or walking away from it. That's what has to happen. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Here atop renewal or judgment, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I think that that is your overall energy here of not giving up and protecting that which you've created, such as the union. This can also, again, relate to the masculine's work too, protecting his image and, and you know, his standing at the office. Don't slack off now. You're on your way up. Believe in yourself. Especially, again, sitting here atop judgment. Atop the six of air, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this can certainly be about moving forward, um, more communication on a more on a deeper level and getting to know each other here atop the dreamer and the three of earth. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. One sec. Atop the three of water, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This can be with one another or this could be the other person, like whoever is represented by this water sign, perhaps. Atop the eight of water and moving on, which I think is again connected to moving on from a water sign or somebody to whom you were like emotionally attached. Again, like your child's other parent. And that's why these water cards are showing up. Um, but as it relates to your union, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I would say, again, don't carry um, anything from the old relationship into this one and let that cloud your mind. 
keep your mind open and clear about what's going to go on in this new relationship. And atop the four of water, I think you're being guided here again to make sure you cut that cord, queen of air style, um, you know, so as not to miss the opportunity for this new love. This is the romance of a lifetime in that one cup. <laughs> so like, let the other three go. And here's the other three attached to someone else. Do you see what I'm saying? See these three, they're up here. Atop the queen of air, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. The way you can work on it is by cutting cords. A top strength is deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And I think it's both of you. And it's as it relates to these threes, you got, you know, this third energy you have on either side. At the heart of the matter, atop the chariot, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Well, I said this was the ultimate card of victory. And, you know, how about that? We already had sacred marriage in the other spread from the masculine. So we know where his head is at um, as it relates to that, or at least his higher self. It's consciousness. So this has been a really blessed reading. But you guys have some work to do is all. And further advice that you're getting from the angels in that regard. Look, here's another card of it. Another card of wedding. This can also be, I don't know if you were married before, but dual meaning, the queen of air could be saying, cut the cord to that wedding. Cut the cord to this wedding, this, uh, this other marriage as well. Um, to the masculine. The four of fire, which is also a card of wedding, marriage, commitment, uh, peace. Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, and the successful completion of a project. For you, another three, the world with Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. And the path toward enlightenment. So this is um, a karmic energy of the universe helping you out of an old relationship, situation, circumstance to move on as the cards seem to show you want to do, or at least again, your higher self does. And coming to creativity for the masculine, this is, um, I think again, connected to his work to keep pushing and earning. Um, he will be abundant. Also, this card represents the sign of Aquarius as well as Pisces for me. Um, Aquarius in the tarot is represented by these stars, but in the celestial system and in general, um, Aquarius is the water bearer. And we have this angel here standing in this pool of water with a vessel that contains water that is spilling out. Um, and then in this water, this pool that she's in is these fish. These very, they're pretty translucent. I don't know if you can see them, but they're jumping out of the water and they're very Pisces as is the moon that's behind her. The moon in the tarot represents the sign of Pisces. This might have something to do with uh, air and water, it could have something to do with, say, today, there is actually a Venus, very favorable Venus-Neptune transit. Um, so that can be what that's about. But it can make people confused as to what to do. So the masculine could be guided uh, on this day specifically to just remain on task and, you know, with the creative juices flowing um, toward what he needs to do in life. For you, forgiveness, and that may be for the water sign specifically, you got to forgive me yourself, um, but this water sign may need some in order for you to cut the cord and, you know, whomever else. But again, start with you, says Quan Yin. The masculine's being manipulated by someone. I would imagine this is the someone um, that he needs to cut off. And he's lying to himself if he thinks that, you know, he's not and he's got it under control. For you, friendship that turns into love and a commitment or something here. So this could be speaking about your relationship with the masculine for sure. And for the masculine honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So again, we've got a few holidays, holidays coming up 
and perhaps some opportunities for you guys. Um, this is another part of movement and travel and can be metaphorical movement and as well as metaphorical, you know, energy of spending time together. It can also be here representative of the moon yet again, just to show that the moon is going to bring some change, you know, for you guys. I think this is like the fourth moon we've seen in your spreads. And lastly for you, <laughs> uh, this very Sagitt Sagittarius card, like a Cupid-like card, you deserve love. You are lovable. So because of that, you're going to do the work you need to do to achieve it. This very true love, right? The romance of a lifetime. I hope that you enjoy your reading. You find it helpful. Namaste, dear.